Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. I was born in New Rochelle, New York, and pretty much raised down here, and uh, became a police officer not, about three years ago. And just decided to give this a try, and I absolutely love it. And I enjoy uh, coming in the shift and uh, not only doing a good job and but having fun at it, and that's what comes along with uh, having a good group of people to work with. I responded to a fight call. The complainant said that there's several people outside fighting in the streets. And we have uh, two officers already on scene, and oh, there they are. Oh, there they are. Watch out. On the ground! On the ground! Get out! Get out on the ground! Get on the ground! Let, let him go. Let him go. Back up! Turn around and put your hands on the ground! Turn around and put your hands on the ground! Turn around and put your hands on the ground! Back up! Put your hands on your back! Put your hands behind you! 539, 10 3. Put your hands behind you. Oh put your oh put your hands behind you. Put your hands behind your back now. I'm trying to, man. Damn. No, you're rolling around. Get out. Get out. Get your hands up on your back. I try it. Put your hands behind your back. Just relax. 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 You need another one? Yes. Relax. Well, you shouldn't have resisted. You shouldn't have swung the officer like that. You hear me? I'm disconnecting the taser. You know why this happened, right? Yeah, no problem. You know why this happened, right? Okay, just as long as you know that. Hey, dude came in. I understand that, but when the officer laid hands on you, you shouldn't have slung him. You understand that, right? The, the other issues, whatever. Uh, I'll get in a second, okay? For code four, 1039, I got two in custody. Yeah, let's stand him up and sit him, lean him against something. One, two, three. Lean against, lean the, against the car. We'll pull him up. Yes, ma'am. Well, uh, we got to take a picture and then we'll pull it out of him, okay? We just got to document it, okay? Okay. Who was it? Yeah, it was him. Yeah, relax. Put it back here. I'm trying to make a little more room for you. I was just excited, man. Dude came up on me. I had to do it. I understand that, but you know, it was an officer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my point. I apologize. What um, exactly happened with that guy over there, the one that came right. after you? Well, when I was, up, I was upstairs watching the game. Uh, I... And then my sister came up and said somebody was fighting. I came downstairs to see what was going on with my little friend in the back. I'm standing right here. His boys came. All of a sudden, he come rushing me. I told him I ain't got nothing to do with it. So he kept walking up on me, so I'm defending myself. When we were here. Yeah. I understand. <laughs> I saw that part. And I'm but other myself. other than that, you don't know what happened earlier. I don't know. I don't know anything. Okay. No, so I was upstairs. Like I said, I was upstairs watching. So the like you said, he came after you while <clears> we were standing here. I was, and standing, I, I, I'm, I was standing in that step right there. I vouched for that. I was here. I watched it. Yeah, he started walking towards me. Okay. I told him like, I had nothing to do with it. Right. He kept coming, so I was defending myself. I understand that. And then he tried to he tried to hit my <coughs> excuse me, hit my sister. That's when I, you know, that's when I went up. Yeah. Okay, and can you, can you explain yourself why you did what you did to the officer? Oh, I was upset, man, you know, because I'm saying he coming out. You know, I, put, I love my sister to death. I protect my sister. I, I understand that completely. But I, you know, it was just adrenaline rush. You know, there, was, there was no excuse for me to do that. You know, it was adrenaline rush. I just, you know what I'm saying? Did you know it was an officer? Did you? I mean, you know, I'm going to keep it when, when it, man. My head was just like. Did I, you know it was an officer? 
No, I just I didn't. I, I don't know who. I thought one of his boys coming grab me. Did something. you know that we were? We I, were thought, telling I thought you. I looked the second time. I was like, oh, you know what I'm saying? This is a cop. You know what I'm saying? When I fell to the ground, you know, that's, you know I, mean? I, was like, I need to chill the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? That's all I mean. I didn't mean to disrespect the officer like that, man. You know, I ain't never done nothing like this before in my life. You know, it was just let Johnny rush for me, man. He's going. And the other guy's going. Can I talk to you, please? Sir? What's up? I'm sorry about the altercation. Is this, I'm not making old boy go to jail. Is it because of this? I just, I just was worried about my brother, sir. I did not even know I'm coming down here. I'm about to go to jail, sir. And I did not. I mean, my brother. He they called me on my phone. You gotta understand. Okay. Do you understand one thing that you ran right past three officers, took your shirt off, and started fighting right in front of us? Yes, sir. But I did. I you, mean, we did not fight, though. I did not swing. But I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, you might. Understand it, sir. I did not. I, I mean, I'm under control now, so I just want yeah, to Yeah, you are. Out. You're going to jail, and he's going to jail. Sir, is there any way? I do not need to go to jail, sir. I'm sorry about the whole thing. Nah, yeah. sorry's yeah. not going to do it today, boss. Is there any way I can speak to my mom right before I go, sir? Well, I did not even know I was coming down here, sir. Well, Why? You man. just, did you, did you just like lose you. control when you walked right past two officers okay, that right, said, okay. you know, come back here? I did not even, sir, I wasn't even aware. I was worried about my brother. I didn't see him anywhere. I didn't know what was going on. I just pulled up. So you just went after the first person you saw? I thought the big man had his shirt off, and y'all, y'all. Big man just came downstairs. Well, I didn't know, sir. Okay. You can talk to your mom in a second. And all of a sudden, they just started pushing and fighting, and then that's when we got called. All right, so, so you taking separate charges on the... On, yes, on the, okay. on the one that you you have in the back of your car. My guy, I saw him go and antagonize the other other guy. The guy so, I tased. Exactly. The one you tased, my guy antagonizes. I saw him just walk past Oh, me, yeah, and took a shirt off. and just take a shirt off and start swinging. Right. So... Can you get him a shirt? You understand? I mean, do you understand? I mean, we can explain it to you what obstruction means, but do you know what? Why you're being arrested? No. You bum rushed them. I grabbed you and told you to stop. Okay. Right. You spun around and you swung at me. You can't just write me a ticket or something. No, not on obstruction. You swung at me. You've got people from all over the country, all over the world that come to Las Vegas. Every walk of life comes to Las Vegas to gamble, you know, professional gamblers to the novice gamblers. They all come to Las Vegas. Only in Las Vegas. We're on a family dispute. The father and son are arguing, and the, uh, the father's supposedly drunk and has a uh, knife. So the son fled the residence to a neighbor's house, and we're going to go find out what's going on. Control 3, Mary 5, I'm arriving. Do we have a building number in reference to this call? Negative. On both calls, it was no building number of service advising. Yeah. Control 3, Mary 5, I'm held by citizens at Bethlehem and Mar uh, Mandalay Bay. Copy, is this related? Unsure right now, I'll check. Sir, step up here. What's going on? Put the jug down. I'm Put this, relax, guy. All right. I just wanted to hit the guy's been chasing me around the complex, man. I Where's he at now? In trouble, bro. My brother's grabbing a knife, comes at me. Your brother? My brother, too, and my dad, me, they got my wife standing. I got the kids there and everything, and my dad's going crazy. But look, threw rocks all in my face, you know, because we got rocks. Picks them up, throws them at me. Talk. He's trashed, and I want, I want him to go to jail. I'm not lying, bro. I did not do nothing wrong. I never even stepped a foot. I didn't even get a chance to go to the door. This guy came running out at me. Why? Huh? Why? He was talking to my mom. I go, Dad, what the f you do it? Right through the screen, bro. You can see the screen's busted, right. man. You got any ID on you guy? No, you, I don't. You have anything on? No, I don't got it. Relax, me. All right, stay here, all right? My God, this guy is getting chased by his dad and his brother. Okay. Dad's got a stiletto, brother's got a knife. He said they're switching them off back and forth. So we'll go down there. It's going to be all the way down here, all right? Huh? His wife, too, I guess. He went to defend his mom. Right. And then... Right. You, you going to go on gun or go on taser? Come out here. It's good to crack. Come out here. 
Come Turn around. Yeah, Turn around. All right. All right. Around. Where's your other son? My other son's in there. Stay right where you're at. All right. Call your other son out here. Yes, son. Come here. So I guess doing this. This kid's got a warm bag of rocks for a couple of us. Both of us. Both you. Come over here. Yeah. Right here. On this wall. He ain't gonna do nothing. On this wall. All right. Data control bed so far. I'm not Put your hands back here, guys. Put your hands back here. He came and started. Can I do something? Yeah. How'd you get all scratched up? My son threw rocks at me. He said you threw rocks at him. No, he threw rocks at me. He come here swinging. Look at my jaw. He come here swinging at me. All my other son did was come out here to protect me. He's got a warrant back in Rocksburg, New York. Did you check his watch and warrant? No, not yet. Trust me. I know, I know. I've been doing this job like three days now. I'm pretty good at it, all right? All right. Go on this side. Come on. Bring him over, too, because he's going to want to put You, come here. I mean, I know you guys are doing a job here. You have a seat. What's going on, guy? I got no knives. I work 60 hours a week. I support all of us. He works for me. He's got a job there. I brought him back a couple times. He's stuck on crack again. That's why we left Rochester, New York. We all had problems. We got out here. I done good. I got myself. I'm a manager of two different spots. The guy's not home at night. He wasn't home all night last night. He's been smoking all night. He's half geeked as it is right now. Well, I, I, I already, I already asked what? if he was. I've got to live whoa, 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 whoa. You, right, right. you already told mind, your story. I, right. I, I got to live here. Were you guys out here fighting and wrestling? No, no. We're just, he, he started throwing the rock. We started throwing rocks. Is that the story? He took a yeah, swing at me, he hit me. At each other. Is that yes. at each other, right? At each other. Not, he was throwing rocks, they were throwing rocks the at each other. She wouldn't give me the phone. Okay. She attacked me for the phone. No, you attacked me. Oh, you yeah. All right, All right. We're, we're gonna do one at a time. I didn't ask you what's going on. All right? This is how we deal with adult problems. We don't deal with no smacking, punching, kicking, biting, pushing. If you can't act like adults and you put your hands on each other, you go to jail. She, she said you did. Uh -huh. Sir, we don't have to. I don't know. He punched you in the face. Yes, he did. Did you see your brother punch your father in the face? I was down there, yes. Ma'am, did you see it, or you were in the house? I was in the house. All right. Turn around. All right, this is what's going to happen. Your son's going to jail for battery domestic violence. You sit down. I didn't do it. Sit down. No, I didn't do it. No, I know. He's the only one who should be Sit up, guy. I was the one who called the cops for the second. You know it, Lori. Damn it. You know what he's doing. You know what he does. He's the only one to go anywhere. No way, man. I swear on my kids, they could die tonight, man. I did not that. put my hands on them first. No way. Don't say that. I swear to God on my kids, bro. They'll die tonight. I did not put my hands on them. All right, come on. Call your mom, Lord. I didn't touch him. I threw rocks at me. I threw them back. Why would your brother say you hit your father? Dad never touched him, man. Did your dad hit him first? Did you hit your kids? All right, all right, all right. You, you two are gonna, I'm gonna have you two start on voluntary statements about what happened, all right? Voluntary statements about what happened, and then we're gonna go from there, okay? We're gonna do a domestic violence report, and he's gonna have to go to jail. State of Nevada, domestic violence, somebody goes to jail. That's it. Three back to 12 traffic. We're going to conduct a traffic stop on a vehicle here just off the interstate for a equipment violation. Right, 20, 20, 20. Three back to 12 traffic. Three back to 12. Three back to 12, Texas, 043. I-35 southbound on the proper at Wells Branch. How you doing? Good, sir. Sheriff's office. You know why you're being stopped? Uh, no, sir. OK, 
Okay, the lights that you have on your license plate, the, are they blue or green? Okay. I have no idea. Okay, do me a favor and step out. Step out of the car. Okay, do me a favor and step out of the car. Turn around for me. What's the problem? Turn around, turn around. Put your hands on top of your head and lace your fingers. Okay, I'm just gonna pat you down for my safety. Okay, hold you over for an equipment violation. Okay, but I can smell the odor of marijuana coming out of your vehicle, partner. So I'm gonna detain you right now. Okay? We figure out what's going on. Like I said, I'm detaining you now for a narcotics investigation because I can smell marijuana coming off of you and off the vehicle. Am I not smelling it? I don't think so. You don't, what do you mean you don't think so? I don't think you're smelling anything. Okay. All right. Come on back here. Okay, come on back here. This isn't right. Oh, partner, come here. I want to see my license. Whoa, come whoa, here. Whoa. Come on over here. Okay. It's not my card. My dad's letting me borrow it. Well, that's you're responsible for it because you're in care custody control of it. You're well, driving it. I don't it. know what I don't know about any license okay. plate. Have light. a seat in the car. What is your name? Have officer? a seat in the car. What is your name, Last, officer? Have a seat in the car. Can you'll I get know it. Your name? Yeah, you'll get it. Have a seat in the car. So you're telling me that you're telling me that your dad's letting you borrow the car? This is his vehicle. Okay. Smell the odor of marijuana coming out of the vehicle. Pull your foot in, okay? Pull your foot in. At this point, I got uh, the driver of the vehicle detained for a narcotics investigation. When uh, when he immediately opened the door, I could smell the odor of marijuana. It would smell like marijuana coming out of the vehicle. Jim Bag in the front seat. Can you watch him for me? Yeah. 10 4. That's what I thought. Smell a large quantity of marijuana found in a gym bag in the front seat. There's odor of marijuana coming from the vehicle. It's fresh. Looks like it's just been taken off the plant. It's inside of a glass mason jar. It's found inside of a gym bag in the front seat. There's also a marijuana smoking pipe made out of glass down in the gym bag. You can see here the coffee beans in here to try to help cover up the smell of the marijuana coming out. So it, I'm going to continue searching, see how much more we can find. What kind of tipped me off was when I walked up and started talking with the driver. His carotid artery was throbbing on the side of his neck. His arms were shaking. You could tell he was real nervous and he was scared. Uh, immediately when I made contact with him, I could smell the odor of marijuana coming from out of the vehicle. And uh, Advised him to step out, and as soon as I did, oh, more marijuana. Advised him to step out, and when I did, the the odor was real strong. That was a strong smell, wasn't it? There's a name on the top of the this mason jar. It says Skywalker, S-K-Y-W-A-L-K-A. Could be this guy's online name or the name for his his marijuana that he sells. Really, just don't know. And nothing else has been found in the vehicle. We'll go back here and secure the marijuana. Partner, you're under arrest for possession of marijuana. Can you give me a ticket? Can what? Ticket. Can I give you a ticket? Not for that much marijuana. How much marijuana is that? Enough to put you behind bars it's for quite a long time. That's not a lot of marijuana. It's enough marijuana to put you put you behind bars for the night. I can't write you a ticket for that. That's a whole lot more than just a usable amount. No, sir. That is that is my that is all personal, sir. That that, that, is that much personal. is personal use. Yes, sir. I promise, sir. Okay. I promise that much is personal. Why why get why get it? You know. 
all the time and risk getting it all the time, all the time, all the time. Mm -hmm. What's with the coffee beans? Why do you have coffee beans in the same bag where you got the marijuana? The coffee beans are in the same bag of the marijuana because I don't want my parents to smell it when I have it the bag in my house. So you I don't like I don't I don't like to keep the bag in the house because I don't want my parents, you know, to find it. I don't want my little brother to find mm -hmm. it, and so I keep it with me. I, you know, that's that's all I'm doing. So that's is there any more I'm marijuana doing. at the at your at your house in your room? Oh no, 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 absolutely not. Okay. No, sir. I'm with my parents. I take it. I drive it. You know, I'm driving it, driving around with it because I don't want my little brother to run across it, and I don't want them to find it. Okay. Watch your legs. I asked him about the coffee beans. He said, yeah, I'm using the coffee beans so I can, you know, hide the odor from my parents. So he already knows the smuggler's yeah. trick, you know, to, to hide the uh, to hide the odor or to mask the odor for the dogs. So, yeah. See, that was good weed. Yeah, there's no doubt. <laughs> he asked me to write him a ticket for it. Yeah, he asked me the same thing. Oh, okay. Well, I told him that wasn't going to happen. He's definitely going to jail. That's not personal use. 132 in Bush. I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, we'll still send a code three. 